Hi, Karina Gardner here, and today we're going to be drawing an illustrator. We're going to do something very simple. We're going to draw a paintbrush. So the hope is that this is a super simple project, and if you're brand new to Illustrator, you're not going to be nervous by it. So go ahead and open up Illustrator with me. You can see I've got mine open right here. Now mine might not look like yours. All the workspaces, I, I can't even tell you how frustrated I am. I feel like my workspaces keep changing in Photoshop and Illustrator every time they do an update. It's fine, we're gonna work with it, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by creating the bottom of our paintbrush. We're just doing a flat paintbrush. So um, in fact, we're gonna do the paintbrush that shows like the same icon, we're gonna draw it basically. Okay, so we are gonna use our pencil tool for this. So if you come over here and click down, you, under your paintbrush tool, there should be a pencil tool, okay? If you don't have the same layout, let's just check and see which workspace I'm in right now. So go to Window, Workspace, I'm in Layout, okay? Let's move to Automation. I'm guessing a lot of you guys are probably in Automation. Does this look more familiar to you guys? We're gonna get rid of Actions, I don't need those. Um, but it should look like this, okay? Setup, does that seem similar for you guys? Okay, so we're going to our brush, our paintbrush tool. I'm gonna click on it and hold out, or you can hold your control down while you click on that and that whole menu will come out. Choose your pencil tool. Now this is the part where you are going to be, ours might look different, that's what I'm saying. Um, so come in and I want you to just lay your pencil down or click down if you're on a trackpad or a mouse or even a Wacom tablet. Pull and draw down and then come, and come to a point and then draw back up again. Now you can see that mine is smoothing out. Did you see that? Like when I came, to, I brought it together, it, um, it really like touches each other and it'll all smooth out. And actually the shape that I made is gonna work for me. If you don't feel like the shape that you made is gonna work for you, do it again. This is all about practice and creating really simple shapes and icons. And you can see that mine is set up for a black stroke and a, uh, a nun on the fill. If that's not happening for you or if, that, or if you have some other crazy thing happening, come down and just click on this default fill and stroke and that will give you a white fill and a black stroke. And what I'm going to do is come up here. Do you see this little double arrow? We're going to swap the fill and the stroke. So I'm just going to swap it just like that. And then I'm going to click on none on that little white stroke. Okay. So now there's like a none. So there's no stroke at all. And all I have is this little black blob. Basically, it's like a funky upside down raindrop. Okay. Now, I'm going to take my arrow tool and I'm just gonna click off of it. And all this does is stop highlighting it, okay? So we're just not highlighting it anymore. And so you can look at it. If you wanna make adjustments to it, so say you don't love the shape of it, come over and select over the entire thing with your black arrow tool, just like that. And then what I'm gonna do is take my pencil tool and I can use the pencil tool or I can come down and choose my smooth tool on that menu and I can take this and start smoothing it out, okay? I don't really have a ton of anchors, so I can't even show you because mine, mine smoothed out as it was, okay? So smooth it out. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is grab your selection tool, select off of it, okay, so we're not highlighted on anything, and we're gonna use our pen tool. So come over here to your uh, pen icon. Well, I thought it was gonna be under that. I think it's gonna be under this one, the anchor point tool. It's like a funny little triangle going down. We're gonna come under that and the pen tool is sitting under there, okay? So here's my pen tool. This is a little nicer because you get to control what's going on. So we're gonna create the handle of this paintbrush. So come over and click a single time, sort of near this brush, okay? And then pull out. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it long enough so it seems like it's a paintbrush, right? But when you click down, I want you to hold and pull, okay? So I'm gonna click down once and I'm gonna pull. And you can see what it does is it creates a curvature. Now I just need a little bit of a curve here, okay? So I'm just gonna do a little bit of curve and then let go. Then I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna click on that anchor not the ones out here, but just click on that anchor one time, okay? So I'm gonna click on it, 
and you can see what it's done. It's kept the curve line on one side, but it's gotten rid of the one on the other side, which is what we wanted. Okay, so I'm going to go out just a little bit, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to curve it a little bit more. So I'm going to click down and curve a little bit more, okay, just like that. Let go, and then I'm going to click on that anchor point once again, and then I'm going to come all the way down right here, and I'm going to click and pull, and I'm going to try to make it so that it semi-matches up. So like you're pulling that curve so the curve is further away. The curve is closer to the end of the brush than it is to the actual like paint brushy part, okay? So I pulled it, all right? And if I want to close this thing up, I'm going to just click on that anchor point again and then come to the original anchor point and click on that, okay? So now, if this happened to you, it happened to me, as you can see on my on my screen. You can see that it's off-centered. It's not quite the right size, which is what I suspect is happening to you, okay? That's okay. That's why we have Illustrator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move mine down so it's centered. So feel free to center yours the best you can. And then if you want it fatter or skinnier, you can come in, grab it, and you can make it fatter or bigger or longer. You can rotate it. You can see that my with my little arrow tool selected on it, it automatically will give me like a little rotation button so I can rotate it. And then the last thing you're going to want to do is smooth it out. So come over to your smooth tool. So it's remember, it's under your paintbrush tool next to your pencil brush or pencil tool, not your pencil brush, your pencil tool. Grab your smooth tool, and while this is selected, you can start smoothing it out. And you can see like it's adding anchors or changing where those anchors are. I don't particularly love, look at this little crease. I'm gonna just select off it. See how I'm getting this funky little crease here? If I select it and I don't like it, I can use my pencil tool, and the pencil tool doesn't just smooth things out, it moves the line for me. So you have to start it somewhere at the bottom and then pull out. And you can see that really helped make that piece work out good. Now the only problem with smoothing is that we lose some of those clean lines that we had right here. Do you remember that clean line we had? Well, I really want that clean line. That kind of bugs me not to have it, so we're gonna do a totally different technique. What we're gonna do is bring in my pen tool. I'm gonna click once, click again and pull, okay? And then I'm going to click again, and this time I'm just gonna close it off, okay? So I just made this funky shape, but I really just wanted the curve of that line. So what I'm gonna do is grab my selection tool, grab the, the end of the brush, and I'm gonna grab this piece and we're gonna trim away at it. So go to um, Window, Pathfinder, and we are going to trim it, just like that. So it's that second box. Do an object, ungroup, and what it did was ungroup these two items from each other. So now if I pull this item away, you can see I have that nice clean line. I'm moving this so it fits the curvature pretty nicely, okay? And that is your paintbrush tool. You can get rid of this, so I'm just gonna delete it. And you just made an icon. Now, you can keep messing around with it, you can keep smoothing it, you can keep changing the lines, but you got the basics of how to build something like this. Okay, if you are, if you are looking to get more, I have a free introduction to Illustrator class, and it's just three little lessons really teaching you how to get started in Illustrator, so it's super fun. And if you're looking for real in-depth design learning, like that will get you into an actual profession so that you can make money, I have those on my site at KarinaGardnerCourses.com. Um, I have about five courses that I really recommend to people, fabric design, silhouette design masterclass, uh, paper design, dingbat design, and uh, Illustrator Academy. So those are the classes I recommend for beginners and they will really help you get to a place where you will be actually designing for money. So um, I hope you go check those out and I'll see you guys later.